Hello Python programmers. So this is the video sixth of our machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can solve the missing data problem in a data set. Now, sometimes when you download the data set from internet or you record the data from a sensors, sometimes there is some data missing, some uh, data in a specific row are missing and as you know that the backbone of machine learning is data only because we perform all the operations on our data so any missing data will lead to a inaccurate machine learning algorithm so it is very important to solve this problem there are two approach to solve this problem first is to drop that specific row uh, I wouldn't recommend you to opt for this method because uh, sometimes when we are dealing with some of very crucial data sets this can be very dangerous to to simply drop a row the second method is usually opted which is to fill the mean the median or the frequently occurring value which i will show you very soon how we can do that but a bit preview of what we have done till now in this machine learning video series so we have done six videos actually this is the sixth video till now i have introduced you to what machine learning is i have given a brief introduction first of what packages are required for machine learning that is numpy pandas sklearn scipy and then matplotlib I have also created some dedicated videos for NumPy and Pandas. In future, I'll try to create on Matplotlib also. Okay, so with this being said, let's get to a notebook and start some practicing. Okay, so first of all, we'll import our required libraries. We'll import NumPy. Uh, as np we'll import pandas as pd and then to perform this missing data operation you need a specific class from this sklearn library okay so now let's import our data set uh, we'll create a variable called data set data set is equal to pd dot read now i'm not gonna explain you what the what this uh, read csv command is because i have created dedicated video for all these pandas and numpy commands i'll provide the link in the description you can watch this video to get a more detailed view of how numpy and panda works because it's really very important to understand these commands and i will also provide this database in the github repository so you can download from there Now from this data set, we will extract uh, the first five or let's say first 10 uh, rows only on which we will perform this operation. Now let me show you how this is looking. I have already uh, removed some of the values here. There you can see uh, this is showing none, this is showing none, this is showing none. Uh, which means that it is having none none value or null value okay so now let's create a numpy array having all the values except this last origin because we don't really need that row okay so we'll create a variable df Okay, so now let's see how our df variable is looking there you can see a beautiful numpy array okay 
okay so now let's write the imputer command now let me first write it then I will explain you what it actually means okay so now let's see what are these parameters we are providing three parameters to our simple imputer class here first is the missing value we are telling this simple imputer class that you have to find np.nan which is null value in this numpy uh, array actually then we'll define the strategy now there are three strategies available you can select the mean which is also the default strategy if you don't specify the strategy here it will automatically be selected as mean then you can also select as median or most frequent value and then we have the verbose which defined that on what uh, access you want to perform the operation zero means the columns and one be one being the row zero is also the default if you don't select the verbose zero or one here zero will be defined as the default one so let's run this command here and we are having an error because simple imputer is not defined because this i should be capital uh yups this i should be capital okay in it no verbose because there should be an e here okay there we go okay so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna perform two operations first is to fit the values into their uh, respected place where there is null value and then transform our numpy array back to the defined uh, shape okay so first of all we'll fit the data and then we'll transform okay so there you go now I want you to pay very attention to how this indexing is working because if you won't understand the indexing you will ask stupid question of how this indexing is working okay so listen very carefully let's uh, see our uh, database here so we have already excluded this first uh, sorry this last column because it was having string now we now we want to exclude the first row and the first column there you can see this first row which defines that what type of data is and then this first column which is the car so we want to exclude them so this one is for rows so we have excluded the first row as we know that the python slicing in python slicing the first term is excluded so from first we are selecting all so from first we are selecting all then after the comma we are having the rows so once again we have excluded the first column and then we have gone till the eighth column okay so this is how it's working if you want to see this in in tabular form then what you can do is you can simply create a variable let's say y just a second y is equal to pd dot data frame and then just pass this df here now I'm making this uh, 
auto column name there you can see okay so there you can see that all the none values are filled with the mean of their column okay so this was the first approach to fill the data we have used the mean uh, strategy here you can select uh, median or most frequently occurring uh, value now let's move on to the second strategy which is to simply drop that data frame so for that i will execute this command again so we can get the fresh database okay there you can see so to drop the specific value what you have to simply do is just write df dot drop na and just run this command and there you can see all the rows which was having any uh, null values are eliminated or removed now there you can see all the uh, columns sorry all the rows with the uh, null values are removed what you can also do is you can also provide a threshold value up to which the row stays and if the number of null values exceeds that uh, threshold value then that row is eliminated let's say that this let's say that this row was having two null values and if we define the threshold to be one then all rows will be present but this row will be eliminated because it is having more null values than the threshold provided by the user okay so this was the method this was the method which we won't usually use in the practical case but as it is present i have just shown you shown you how it works okay so this is it for this video and this was a very important video because filling out missing data is a very important part of data pre-processing in the next video we'll see that how we can deal with the categorical data then we'll see that how we can split the test and train data and all of this comes under the data pre-processing so stay tuned and if you haven't watched our previous video where i have explained how machine machine learning works and some of the very important libraries of machine learning which is pandas and numpy then do watch them because because it will create a very good foundation for you so that you can understand the future videos more clearly okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye